this is the most important thing to be successful on YouTube. It's to be hey y'all welcome to my channel if you're new here what's happening girl my name is coca lola jazzy you know whatever all them names you know i got like multiple personalities so you can call me like a lot of different things so anyways anyway you're new here hey girl hey girl hey hey girl boy homeboy whoever if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're returning and you still haven't subscribed because you like a hater or something like just hit the subscribe button because you want to see me like you want to see when i post you might as well just, like you're gonna come here anyway so you might as well just hit the subscribe button you know just make it easy Okay, so if you're here, if you're watching this video, you probably want to know how to start a successful YouTube channel with no support or non-supportive family and you don't have no friends, you're a loner, probably like me, and just nobody just likes you. So, you, so you're like, how am I going to start a YouTube channel when I don't have no friends? Like, who's going to share my videos? Who's going to like my videos? Like, who's going to support me? Right? Like, are you here because of that? Because you want to know how to start a successful YouTube channel without any support. You're here for that, right? Oh, I'm just checking. I got my hand in notebook and I wrote down some stuff. I got 12 things on this list that's going to help you make a YouTube channel. Well, help you start your YouTube channel with no support. You know, I'm not a big YouTuber, but I think I'm pretty dang on successful because... You know, because of these, because of these things, because of the, I did all these things, like I did all these things. Okay, so if you want to know how to become a successful YouTuber with no support, then stay tuned. Okay, now this is the first thing, and this is the most important thing. You do not need support from people outside of YouTube. People outside of YouTube don't matter outside of YouTube. Instagram people. Don't even matter on YouTube. Like, we're not checking for Instagram people on YouTube. YouTube is its own world. You do not need to send your YouTube videos to everybody in your, in your phone. Everybody in your contact list. You do not need to send your video to everybody on your Instagram, your Facebook, and whatever. You don't need those people. You really don't. More than likely when okay so we're just gonna put an example out here when i share my videos to like facebook instagram um twitter and stuff most of those people don't watch my video and youtube is so cool that they give you this little feature where you can see who actually clicked your link and watched what well, you don't see exactly who but you can see if people actually clicked your link and watched the video and you can see how long they actually watched it and stuff and i from my experience people outside of youtube when i share my stuff they really don't they don't really watch it so it's like it's like pointless to even think that you need those but you don't really need those people most people outside of youtube they don't even watch youtube so if you share a video it might be something interesting to somebody somebody might watch it other people might just click on it just because it's you and they think that helps you but they don't really know how youtube works and it really doesn't help you it really hurts you for them to click on it and actually not really watch it and then you got people that's just nosy and they just want to see like what is she doing like how many views she got like you know do she got comments and stuff so don't it doesn't matter you don't need those people you don't you not you do not need people outside of youtube to be successful on youtube okay the second tip is that you should do what everybody else is doing on youtube so whatever's trending this is bad this is bad to say like never in your life just copy off of people but but on youtube you need to do what's trending like if it's trending, you need to do it because that means that people are actually looking it up and 
you you have a better chance of people actually looking at your video let's just say paper towel reviews are popular on youtube right now they popping they like everybody's doing it everybody's looking looking it up everybody trying to see you know who's doing the best paper towel review get out there do your paper towel review you never know who might click on your video and then watch it all the way through and then the next person watch it all the way through and then guess thing next thing you know you got a thousand views and some in somewhere maybe 10k you might be lucky you might be one of those lucky people and you might get a 10k on a video because you know you hopped in on the trend most people aren't looking for most people aren't looking for beauty gurus on youtube at this point in time because it's so many it's so oversaturated so if you must if you do makeup and you must do makeup like you that's that's what you want your channel to be about i don't know maybe you you just have to you need to do a little twist with it like do a story time with your makeup do um get ready with me talk do something like do something crazy do something wow do something just don't just get on here and do makeup because nine times out of ten like people don't really want to see you people really don't want to see you do your makeup sis you know, I don't know how to say it, but just, like, we really don't want to see you just do your makeup. Like, do your makeup, tell a story while you're doing it, um, get ready with me, do a transformation, like, do, like, from ugly to cute, you know, do something like that. Make it interesting, but just don't get on here and be like, step one, do my eyebrows. Do, like, everybody already know how to do that. And if they don't, they're going to go to somebody bigger to see how to do it because they don't trust you. If you look something up and you know that other people would, is probably looking this up too, but you don't really see a lot of content about it, that's your, like, that is your golden ticket to hop in and do it. Like, that's what I did, to be honest, because I used to see that work and I used to watch, um, I used to watch people... Um, moving videos and stuff I used to watch people apart no I used to watch a lot of apartment tours and stuff in like Atlanta New York and stuff like that so then I was like I live in Arizona let me search Arizona apartment tours and guess what nobody wasn't doing it <laughs> nobody was doing Arizona apartment tours like it was like it was probably like three people and I was like I can't like when I searched up apartment tours in Arizona I didn't really see too much of nobody I seen like three people and I was like not impressed not that impressed so I was like I can do this like I can give more information I can give this I can do that I can put my little spin on it you know so if you see something that you know that other people might be looking up Go ahead and do that because you might be the first person to do it and you might take off from that. Or you might be the second person or the third person and you want to take off. Period. This is the most important thing to be successful on YouTube. It's to be consistent. Because if you're not consistent, then what are you on YouTube? People want to make sure that you're coming back. People want to subscribe to you because they want to know that you're always gonna, you're always gonna be there to entertain them. You're always gonna be dropping videos. People want to like when I don't when I don't drop videos for like a week or two weeks, people be blowing me up. Like people be stalking me. They be running down on me. Like where the videos at? Like where's the video? So it's like what is like what's going on? Are you okay? Like what are you doing? <laughs> Just think about it. If VH1 only posted one episode of um, uh, what what do they post? What what shows do they got? I don't know. But if they only posted one episode of whatever for like six months, are you gonna be interested when they come back in six more months posting that one episode again? Like, no, you're not. You want to see them. Like, that's why it's weekly or you know twice a week something like people want to make sure that you're coming back they want to be entertained at all times or they're gonna find somebody else to watch period that's just it like 
if VH1 only dropped one episode in six months, I'm going to watch MTV where I know that MTV is always going to have a new episode of something every couple weeks. And then it might even be that MTV is not even as good as VH1, but guess what? At least they drop the videos and they're consistent and I can trust that they're going to come back. If people cannot trust that you're, you're going to come back, they're probably not going to, they're probably going to unsubscribe to your channel. And then when you come back after six months of doing whatever you was doing, they're not even going to be interested in seeing whatever you're doing, especially when you're just now getting started. If you're just now getting started, you need to be, it's crunch time. You need to be making these videos back to back to back to back. You need to be dropping these videos. You need to be letting these people know who you is because at this point, they don't know who you are. They don't, you know, they don't have a chance to get to know you because you're only posting one video or you posted an intro video and then you just disappeared. And then next year you want to be like, post a video q a and we don't even care at that point like at that point we don't even care what you're posting because we know that you're inconsistent and we know that we cannot count on you to keep us entertained every week we just can't so be consistent that is big that is the biggest thing on youtube period even if you're thinking that oh i don't have a good camera i don't have a good setup i don't have good lighting or whatever it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is being consistent, but I'm not even going to say that because if you got a Nokia, if you got a Nokia, baby girl, baby boy, it's going to be hard for people to watch your videos, but if you're really entertaining, people going to watch them anyways, but you know, you're going to get there, which brings me to my next point is that you don't need all these fancy gadgets, gadgets and gizmos and things. You don't need that. You really don't need that. When I first started doing YouTube, I propped my little phone up. I had a, um, what, what kind of phone did I have? I don't even know. I don't even remember. But I propped my little phone up, put it this way. Hold on, let me show y'all. I had no um, case, no um, tripod. I didn't have none of that. What I did was put my phone up on some books, turned it this way, press the button, and say, Hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. It's me. And then, and then from there, you, you're gonna, you're, if, as long as you're consistent, you're going to grow. Like, you're going to grow as fast. Like, people are going to be entertained. People are going to be able to trust that you come back. And that's it. You do not have to have a ring light. You can use the light from outside. You can use, like, turn your lamp take the shade off your lamp do something i don't know you do not have to have the best lighting you do not have to have everything perfect you do not have to oh god this is one this is another thing you do not have to have intro you do not have to have an intro people be like people make so many excuses in life if you really want to do something i promise you're just going to do it because I didn't have none of that stuff or and if I did I was trying to make it myself and it was just terrible and it was horrible I even look back at my old videos and I just be cringing like what was I doing I mean it doesn't even matter even still this video today is probably going to be cringe cringe worthy like in a few months I'm gonna look back and be like ugh, like why was my plant leaning over like that like you know it doesn't really matter you do not have to be perfect you do not have to have the best equipment you do not have to have a ring light you do not have to have an intro you do not have to have an outro you do not have to have a banner you don't have to have none of that in fact that stuff is pointless to have i know people that got intros that don't even post videos so it's like you got this intro for what and then I know people buy intro so you bought you pay $50 for intro for a YouTube channel that you don't even post on which is kind of stupid you just just pose just make a video just put your camera up put your phone up if you don't have a camera put your phone up on a stack of books put it and do your and and, and do your YouTube thing like what like come on you don't need all the extra stuff you don't need all the extra stuff i know people that bought cameras that bought tripods ring lights that bought all this stuff and they don't even do youtube they don't even do youtube so they just wasted all that money on all this stuff when they could have just used their phone and they could have tested it out confidence you gonna need some confidence you're gonna need some confidence that's another that's probably like the second biggest thing that you're gonna need 
to be successful on YouTube, you're going to need confidence because you can't be crying when people tell you that they don't like, even though I'm still working on that because as soon as somebody leave a negative comment, I'd be like, yo mama, yo daddy, yo wild hair grin, like what, and what, and what, and what, and, 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 and what? Because I don't, mm, mm So you have to have confidence. You can't be worried about how you look and, you know, that's only half of the battle because I be looking raggedy. I be looking so raggedy and I be looking so, I just, but just be yourself. That's the only thing, like, you have to have confidence in yourself. People will look at your video and they can tell that you're not confident. People can tell that you're not comfortable and that you're not confident. I look at the camera. I have a hard time, like, Period. I just have a hard time with um eye contact. Plus, I be looking in the viewfinder every time because I be trying to look at myself and trying to make sure that I look good and, and don't, you know. But confidence. Look into the camera and just talk. Just do your YouTube thing. Like I said before, do your YouTube thing. Just do it. Just do it. Like Nike, just do it. Just do it. Have confidence. We see if you're not confident. So the last thing is there is a lane on YouTube for everybody, like everybody. If you think that what you're doing is not interesting or people don't want to see it or whatever, just know that they do. Like everybody can have subscribers. Everybody can do their own thing. I seen a lady, there is some lady on here on YouTube that eats ice y'all she eats ice and that's it that's all she does on her channel eats ice homegirl got millions of views from just eating ice so you never know what what other people will find interesting so whatever you want to do just do it just get out here and do it and just be confident be yourself that's another thing that's probably uh, the biggest another big tip that you could take from this video is just be yourself don't get on here trying to act like the other youtubers that you see do not get on here with the fake youtuber hey, hey, hey. don't do that don't do that Cause people want to see real authentic people people want to see you being your real self people want to be able to relate to you so just be yourself and be yourself be consistent and be confident and really if you just do those three things you have no choice but to be successful. If you're consistent, you have no choice but to be successful. Most people are just not consistent. Most people are really not consistent at all. So a lot of people just will never make it anywhere, will never be successful because they give up. The only the only thing that will make you unsuccessful really on YouTube is not just not posting anything if you don't post anything we don't see anything you have no you have no chance to be successful if you don't post that's the number one that's that's really what you have to do consistency post 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 if you think it's bad and i want to see it oh people understand if you're just now starting out people will understand that okay her video is a little little sketchy but okay they check out your page they see oh she just started youtube you know yesterday and you get a pass and you can say that in your video just be like i'm new you know i'm new here i don't know what i'm doing you learn over time though so you will never be perfect you will never ever be perfect especially starting out be yourself be consistent be confident that's it that's all that i have for y'all today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and um and i pray to see y'all somewhere some someplace somehow you know doing y'all youtube thing <laughs> i want to see y'all i hope to see y'all all be successful on youtube thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and come back to my channel because you know i'll be dropping videos dropping videos dropping videos Oh,